Quitter is a Mac app from Marco Armit that allows you to quit or hide apps that you deem to be distractions. And it's super easy to set up actually. Once you install the app, it runs in your menu bar. You just go into the menu bar, select edit rules, and then you'll see a list of all of the applications that you've added thus far. If you'd like to add another, just click the little plus sign and then select the app that you wish to add. So I'm just going to search for an application that I find to be a distraction and that would probably be this one here, Sling TV. So I'm gonna add that. I'm not going to hide it, I'm going to quit the app I could choose to hide it if I wish, but instead of setting it for 10 minutes, I'm gonna be a little more lenient and select 20 minutes there. You can see I have Mailplane 3 to hide after one minute, and I also have TweetBot to quit after one minute. So you can see both Mailplane and TweetBot in the background here. Now, if you choose to quit an app, it might be best to uncheck the Keep in Dock option so that it actually leaves your dock upon quitting. So since I have the threshold set to one minute for each of these apps, the Mailplane app and Tweetbot, you'll see them, as you see there, go away. So Tweetbot actually quit, and Mailplane, as you can see, is still running in the dock. It's just hidden because I selected hide instead of quit. So let's show you some of the other options available with Quitter. So let's go up to the menu bar. You can see you can disable it right there on the fly, so that will suppress all of the rules that you currently have set up, and you can re-enable it like that. You can also select to start Quitter at login, and of course, you can quit the app directly from the menu bar. So here is the app icon for Quitter. Again, this does not run in your dock, it's just a menu bar application that can start automatically upon startup. So here is where you can download Quitter. It is a free download from Marco's website. No strings attached. It is not in the Mac App Store and probably never will be. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff, 9to5Mac.